Let's practice flute. Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Allison, and this video is going to cover making our first sounds on the flute head joint. This video can be used independently or alongside the beginning flute practice book, available on practiceflute.com. Now, the part of the flute that we're using for this video is the head joint. The head joint has a couple of components. We have the tube, and we'll have the open end going to the right. The close end of the flute has a spinny part called the crown, and we're going to leave that alone, but we'll hold that with our left hand for now. And then the lip plate, which has this hole. So the lip plate, you might notice, is rather wide, and so we're going to want our embouchure to be covering most of that. Let's begin by finding the embouchure by taking our index finger and placing it just above the chin and below the lip. Smile just a little bit, and then frown. So even though flute players are happy people, our embouchure, or the position of our lips, oftentimes looks like we're frowning or even pouting. Let's try that again with the index finger, take it to your chin, and then pout your lip over the index finger. See how wide, how much of that finger you can cover with the pout. For the air stream that we use, we're going to think at first, poo, like Winnie the Pooh Bear, or if you've ever spat watermelon seeds, it's a lot like that. Try a few of those without anything. Now try sustaining the amount of time that you blow just a little bit longer. Let's try that with our index finger underneath our lip and above the chin. You might notice that the aperture of my lips or the opening, the whole of the lips, looks like a small oval. Now holding your left hand on the crown and the right hand on the lower part of the tube of the head joint, Let's bring the lip plate to the face. We're going to approach first from below the uh, lip. So starting from your chin, scoop up until you feel your bottom lip catch just a little bit of the edge of that flute. When we play, our bottom lip will barely cover that bottom edge of the flute and most of it will be open. So brushing up, just feel the brush of the flute upward until your bottom lip feels the edge of that flute. Take a calm breath in, and let's try the poo. Calm breath in, poo. If that's not working, let's consider a few things. One is, the flute may be too far rolled in. It becomes harder. Or the flute may be too far rolled out. becomes airy sounding. Or you might have the flute too high on your lip or too low on your chin. So it's really about finding that sweet spot. This is one of the most important things we do when beginning the flute. So let's try it again. Bring the flute away, brush up, feel it barely catch your bottom lip, calm inhale, pout. Now let's try a second method, and this is not my preferred method, but a lot of teachers teach it. It's called the kiss and roll, and I'll talk a little bit later about why I don't love this way. But we're going to bring our two lips into the center of the, of the hole of the lip plate, as if we're giving it a kiss, and then roll the flute down. So kiss, roll, and then deep breath, pout. Let's try that again, kiss. Roll, calm breath, pout, poo. One more time, kiss, roll, deep, calm breath, pout and poo. Now the reason I don't love the kiss and roll method is because eventually we want the bottom lip to be very free 
supple and flexible. And the kiss and roll tends to pinch that bottom lip into place. But if it's giving you more success today, then we can address that change later. Just know it will probably need to be changed. Just in case, let's try doing the brush up method a couple of more times. So we'll brush the flute from the lower part of the chin up until it barely catches the bottom lip, pout, Try that again. Brush from below, catch your bottom lip, pout. And one more time. Brush from below, catch, pout. Now I know you may be excited to start playing lots and lots of notes on the flute. However, there's nothing more important than getting a clear, centered core tone. So spend some time every day with just the head joint, finding that sweet spot that makes the tone of the flute sound really, really full and clear. Hopefully this video has been productive and useful. Please do subscribe to the station as lots of videos will be coming out that'll be helpful to you now and in the future including some tutorials for the essential elements and standards of excellence band books that are used by a lot of bands uh, and some more advanced practices as well. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.